Good morning from Birmingham Airport and welcome to a new video. After more than two years, Flybe, a regional airline from the UK, is back. They do mostly operate domestic flights within the UK. However, since late April, they do also operate flights between Birmingham and Amsterdam. So I decided to fly to Amsterdam with four friends from university. Security at Birmingham took ages. It's usually pretty chaotic as well. And honestly, it's also not really efficient. But no worries, that's the only thing I'll complain about in this video. Let's just hope that it's going to get better later this year. So in the end, security took us more than an hour. However, the flight was delayed as well. In the meantime, the aircraft already arrived from Belfast. It is a 15-year-old Dash 8. Flybe currently has four of these aircraft in their fleet, and these aircraft can fit up to 78 passengers. I've never been on the Dash 8 before, and to be more exact, this is also my first time that I'm going to be on a turboprop aircraft. So I can say I was pretty excited for this flight. So welcome on board this Flybe-8. My seat for this flight is going to be 17D. I paid £3 for the seat reservation, which is totally fine in my opinion. I did really not want to risk not having a window seat for this flight. So my first impression, well, the legroom was alright, and that's going to be my view. Flight time for today is around 55 minutes. Only a few minutes after takeoff, we reached the cruising altitude and the seatbelt signs were turned off. Time to have a closer look at the seat then. Obviously, here's the tray table, which you cannot move back and forth. In the seat pocket in front, there's only a safety card and an air sickness bag. The windows do also not have window shades. This might be annoying for some passengers, but this makes the aircraft lighter and therefore more fuel efficient. To my surprise, there was also a small service on this flight. Each passenger got a biscuit and you can also choose between drinks like coffee, tea or water. On this aircraft, there was only one lavatory right next to the cockpit. As expected, it was pretty small, but it was kept in a really clean condition. Back at my seat, I asked the crew if it's possible to have another seat more in front. They called the captain and said it was alright if I changed my seat. So my new seat for the slide is 3D. And well, this seat gave me a much better view over this turboprop engine. Fly V charges a bit more for seat reservations in the first rows. The seats and the legroom are identical. The only difference is this engine view. 
And in the meantime, you already reached the Dutch coast. By the way, did you know that four different airlines operate flights between Birmingham and Amsterdam? It's the Dutch carrier KLM, the low cost carrier EasyJet, the holiday airline Jet2, and since April of this year, it's also Flight B. This flight cost me 30 pounds and I paid 3 more pounds for the seat reservation. For this flight, I booked the cheapest fare, which only contained a personal item. So if you want to bring a carry on, you have to pay extra. But now, in total, how would I sum up my experience with Flybe? First of all, I'm so glad that Flybe is finally back. The crew is super friendly and attentive. Moreover, the service on board is the exact same as you would get on a KLM flight. However, the non stop flight with KLM is much more expensive. If you want to travel as cheap as possible, maybe EasyJet or Jet2 would be the best fit for you. However, Flybe is sometimes not even more expensive, and personally, I would say the experience on board is the best. So from my side, I can definitely recommend Flybe. But how about you? What do you think about Flybe? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, we already got close to Amsterdam. So for now, please enjoy the landing at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Schiphol Airport, one of Europe's biggest airports. Thank you very much for joining me on this flight. I hope you enjoyed the review and if you did so, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching the video until the end and see you the following week for the next video, which is going to be a review about the low-cost airline boiling.